I recently re returned from the world's largest conference for crypto investments, Crypto Capital World in Vilnius, Lithuania. In a packed and busy schedule, I gave two marketing presentations about what ICOs look for in investors and what investors are looking for in ICOs. I also got to hear from many other state of play investors such as Shane Co, co-founder of FSVK Crypto and the world renowned Timothy Draper from the USA and he is a great venture capitalist as you know. On day two I was a panelist along with both of those gentlemen plus Jalal Fatu, Jacob Kowalewski and Dean Wedepol, moderator by Naim Aslam. The task was to share our experience on how to turn Cinderella to a princess. In other words, what the role of marketing is in ICOs. The subtext was also about how to spot startups which have fancy packaging but little substance. It was a wide range, ranging and lively discussion which began with the importance of what I call front runners with the counterpoint made by Tim and Steve Jobs was just a kid in the garage when he started. In other words, at that stage he was hardly rockstar material. All were agreed that the track record of frontrunners was vital something I'm always keen to stress with new ICOs I'm advising. Jacob made the point that he was also interested in people who had failed first and second time around and that failure shouldn't always disqualify someone from fronting an ICO. We moved on through the value of airdrops and I highlighted how if not budgeted for this was a red light to pro investors. Shane added as a general observation if the ICO is not marketed the quality has to speak for itself it all takes time and effort. The community recognizes this so don't take shortcuts. Tim underscore the value of community but even with the best marketing in the world sometimes the timing can be off as he said you can have the best idea in the world but it's got to be at the right time. Timing is crucial. 90% of ICOs will fail. Be careful but with that comes great opportunity and great reward. I saw a lot of heads nodding in our audience at that particular point. This lead on to discussion of the proportion of budgets that should be devoted to marketing and I approached the figure of typically 300 to 500 thousand US dollars. Another figure quoted was that of 25 million US dollars spent today this year, 2 million USD was marketing costs. Tim added, I want to give my money to talent, not the middleman, arguing against heavy spends on social media, although he did praise Twitter as a place where you can do a lot of digging around. So did we turn a Cinderella into a princess? I think we showed that there is a way to do it even spread across a widely differing range of ICO startups. And no, it isn't about fancy packaging, but guess what? The thing which makes the difference is effective marketing.